Right, just got the Audi that we never fixed with the knocking engine, just been picked up. This one was already dropped at the back. Uh, I never showed you, but doesn't matter. We're going to work now today on this 2013 Ford Transit. And let me show you what the problems are with this thing. Right. Other than what you see here already. Uh, let me show you what I've seen as well. And this is not even the worst. I think I've done a turbo cartridge uh, some time ago for this one. But the van has other issues. Okay. So let me show you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've done this turbo for this van. Anyway, let me show you exactly what's wrong with this. Okay, so let me start this thing and uh, just uh, and show you what's wrong. Right, so I'm gonna start this. Right, so that's our problem. The ESP light is on. As you have seen on the boot, there is a steering, there is a steering angle, there is some stalkers in there as well, some stalkers. Uh, there is, I can't remember now anymore, but anyway, so someone has been obviously replacing parts on the, on this, <laughs> try to fix this problem. There is two issues actually with this, but they're going to be separate issues, so one issue is this. The other issue is something to do with the lights, which I will take you through later on, on a separate video, if it makes it into a video. So, the first thing we're going to do, obviously, is scan the car, and, or the van, in this case, and try to understand why the ESP light is on, uh, and try to figure out how we're, going, how we're going to resolve this. Okay, so first problem, I plugged in the Maxis's and there is no power on the OBD port. Will this be a related problem? Mm. Okay, and according to my diagrams, uh, I didn't really have diagrams, I didn't really have, I didn't really need diagrams, but uh, it's coming from, the power for my OBD port comes from Fuse 13. Uh, 42, I think it's 13. There's no fuse 13 here. Ah, really come from here. Oh dear, okay. Uh, unless it's coming, there's some fuse on that body control module at the back. Uh, anyway, let's kind of see what we can find and go from there. And indeed, we add fuses behind the main fuse box. Found my culprit over there. Diagram showed me it should be a 15 amp fuse. It's actually a 10 amp, and there is no doubt that it is gone. So because it's a 10 amp in there, it didn't have any signs of being replaced. It's the same as the other ones, as dirty as the other ones. So we're just gonna put a 10 amp. It should be more than enough for the diagnostic tools, for the diagnostic tool unless it feeds something else, which according to my diagrams, it actually does feed some other stuff. So I'll try a 10 amp fuse for now. We'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens. Okay, and we have power now onto the OBD port. Van has been detected. Just press next and let's gonna go to my Yes, that's correct. Uh, no, he's not. No, he's not. So, um, I, once I had that, I had the ignition on, I've started the van, turn it off, the light stays on, obviously. Uh, so let's gonna go to diagnostics, let's figure out What's going on with my, I guess it's going to be part of my ABS system, most likely. And 
my faults are. Lost communication with steering angle sensor module. So it lost communications with the steering angle sensor. Okay. So uh, there's a service manual in there that the Maxisys tells you. Jesus, I'm not going to read all of that. Uh, the only interesting bit on here is fault is currently present. Okay. So we have no communications with the module. So I'm going to indeed. Uh, most likely open all of this, but not without first going to figure out uh, where the power for that module comes from, perhaps, and try to figure out if we have something else wrong. So when we get to the point where we need to do measurements, we know roughly what to measure, providing I have diagrams for that. Let's see, let's hope. But you guys don't need to be here waiting. Just I will let, I will take you through in a couple seconds. Okay, uh, we dismantled a little bit more, and uh, right, I, 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 oh, I don't know what to think. Like, first of all, I've seen things like this: bolts not tightened properly. But for and foremost, as you can see probably from here, as soon as I took the under cover, this plug just came down. This is the plug for my steering angle sensor. So you have steering angle sensor here. Sorry, guys. You have, this one is for the clock spring, so horn and airbag and that stuff. Then you have on this side, you have one for this stalker here. You have the one underneath here for the transponder, for the antenna. And then on this side, you have another one for the other stalker on this side, for the other stock. And you have the one for the remote for the radio. But this one literally was just hanging off. So... Will this be this simple? Nah. Okay, let's gonna start this thing again and see what we have. But actually, I'm not gonna even stop because you might have heard the Maxi C's just running out battery. Jesus, yeah, it's nearly there. Oh, come on. Hold yourself in place. Right, so it's gonna. Mission on, it's gonna come back. <laughs> I just turned the ignition on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now we have an airbag, maybe because I've been messing around with the other plug. Really? Let me start this. <laughs> no, we have an airbag light. But look. That's that. Uh, why did they replace this in first place? So it will be because, okay, this is why I look at it. I think that fuse that feeds the OBD port, it feeds something else. My diagrams doesn't show, they are not very complete to be fair with you. Uh, but it might be that it feeds my uh, sensor here as well. And because that fuse was gone, obviously there was no communications with the sensor. So. We got that fuse repaired, we got communications with that. That most likely, as soon as I delete the codes, that will go away. Just make sure this is plugged in. Yes, it is. So that's most likely because of that. I was here plugging and unplugging stuff, and I think battery voltage low, lost one in a row. Okay, let's gonna come back, erase the codes. Let's do what he asks for. Ignition on. Yes. Yes. Okay. So escape. Start again. You know what, guys? I really wish all my problems with cars would be this easy to solve. A simple fuse that was. Uh, that was highlighted, let's say, that came to my attention when I plugged in the VCI and I had no power. So I could try to dig further into diagrams to see where that power comes from, but I think at this point it's quite easy to say that it's coming from there. I can just, uh, let me just come out of this. 
Okay, let's just gonna do something here. Oh. I'm gonna try to do this without actually turning anything off. So the fuse in question is that fuse in there. Oh. I think it was that one. Okay, so, so far nothing happened. Let's just... Uh, Well, that's strange. It looks like it was not even nothing to do with my fuse. And because obviously now I have no power to the VCI. So it looks like it was actually just that plug that was not plugged in correctly. Now, why this was changed in first place? No, no, I can't do it like this. I can't really tell you. Um, it could have been that the original sensor was actually bad. And then was obvious. Oh, come on. It could have been that the original sensor was indeed bad. I could try to plug it in and see what would happen. Uh, but honestly, there is no point now. Uh, it is working. Let's just look at some live data quickly. See, uh, I have to scan it or not. Ah, it was already there. Let's just gonna go to live data, uh, see what we have on my steering angle sensor, make sure it's working okay. Guys, really simple. I I don't. Uh, I feel silly sometimes for publishing videos like this because it's really is it's so basic that honestly, unplugged really. And it's not like if the plug is slack or anything like that. It's, the plug is actually good. It's not coming out. So it is really silly what's going on with this. But right, let's gonna go quickly to my. Diagnostics, control unit, that's going to go to my ABS, uh, live data, uh, main break. Not really sure <coughs> where is my steering angle sensor pass and pass steering angle sensor is a 358 is minus 200 oh it's completely out I think it's gonna need definitely a what do you call it it's gonna need a adjustment so we're gonna do that uh, before we wrap up this video and see if this live data gets better because when it comes this way look it goes over 600 and as I carry on look at that so it's completely out so let's gonna calibrate this and yeah so the light just came on as you can see in there so let's gonna calibrate this sensor and um, and uh, and see if that fixes my problem here on the steering angle sensor Okay, and just before, because what I thought was a little bit strange, because as I was here, uh, just about to do the steering angle sensor calibration, I got the airbag light back on, and I thought, what the heck's going on here? So when I've realized the pin, I mean, it was me, but uh, it's for you two guys to see how important it is to pay attention. When I took this off, I've realized that on the airbag side, you see this mark here, right at the top there, above my fingernail. You see where the pin was going? The pin is supposed to go down here on this little square and was actually going at the top. So when I've looked on the pin, the pin was actually bent in back uh, upwards and was actually obviously going up here, not making contact properly. So I've straightened the pin. I'm going to push this little bit of plastic that is smashed here, that is bent here. I'm going to push it up to plug this correctly. But it's, it's another thing that it might was me, guys, probably because it came okay. So it might was me as I was pushing in. Uh, but just for you guys to see, sometimes his attention to detail is all he needed. His attention to detail. So I'm going to fix this bit on this plug and we'll do the calibration and we'll go from there. Okay guys, so this is the first step that I tells you what to do. Uh, this is in the brake and the service, sorry. And then chassis, braking, gives you a few options of things to calibrate. This is obviously the steering angle. So we're going to press OK. 
set the ignition to on so I'm gonna turn it off just set ignition to on press ok we have these lights flashing uh, please ensure that correct mode is installed and our correct calibration option was chosen oh that's interesting switch off to off okay hmm the lights gone off but obviously it might be something wrong let me start it up again Start it up. That's gonna go back to. I don't know why it's faulting. Oh. All I need now is that the steering angle has been fitted wrong somehow or something along those lines. Or maybe the wrong sensor, who knows? Where is the sensor? It's right at the bottom, wasn't it? Okay, so it's actually not too bad now. Okay, that's fully locked and it's about 602. Just above the limit and on the other side is a little bit below. So Let's try the calibration again. Let me make sure the wheels are completely straight. Maybe they were not completely straight. Uh, let me try that and, and try this again. Okay, I think I nailed it, maybe. So obviously uh, what I had to do first was I actually did it in there, but it looks like the same. So I first had to do this because obviously remember they replaced the steering angle. So I had to do that variant in VIN vehicle identification number data learning procedure. So I've done that, it went successfully. Then I then again the configure the steering angle sensor that went successfully. I just finished it really. And now uh, let me, I'm hoping now when I go back to my thingy, it's gonna be within the parameters. Uh, so ABS. Uh, live data if we can go from lock to lock uh, within the correct values we should be all right so we are at 3.3 .3. so that's gonna go all to the left 597 look at that 597 let's go to the other side Three nine nine two, three nine eight. Wait, he nearly flicked it. Have you been there? It looks so. Uh, it goes sometimes. A uh, tiny bit above. Okay, so it looks like I might need to. Uh, I might need to. Maybe I think I know what's happening. Although it was successfully, I don't know why he's doing this. I think because when I put the steering wheel straight, maybe the steering wheel is 900% straight in the range left to right. So I might need to play a little bit with this until I get this 100%. Because when I go to this side, yeah, it goes a tiny, oh, it goes a little bit above. Yeah, sometimes it passes. But he's doing it on the opposite side because earlier was doing was going over on this side but this side now look at that uh, even on this side now is right on the limit well the light is not coming on so i think i might just go for a quick drive with this thing at the end of the road and see what happens if he's driving okay no problems we well, might just leave it uh yeah i think Shall I put the old one? But I don't know. I'm not very keen and get the old sensor back in here. Uh, let's gonna go for a drive and see what happens with this. Okay, just came here at the end of the road. This is the different stretch 
than the one I've showed you on previous videos uh, but still it's a quite long stretch around the village where I live it's quite nice to come and test in there is a roundabout right there so not too far away it's just it's probably about a mile long maybe if that uh, and then this this roundabout so far so good I think I have a door that is not closed properly I think it's that one I'll just close it before we go again but so far so good it's been driving fine uh, uh, there is a couple of corners as I leave the village so it's, it's been fine I, I'm not sure if it's still going out of range but if it does go out of range as you've seen it's right at the end um, I don't know it's not tricking any faults so we'll see how it goes uh, so far I'm happy with it and uh, the one thing I've noticed guys though is as you go straight the steering goes like this maybe so if I if I try to learn this with the steering completely straight then as I go to that side uh, then obviously the steering angle is going to be out of range so you have to go straight the steering goes somewhere like this so yeah that's a little bit of a pain um, you might need uh, uh, an alignment and possibly another relearning after that but I think yeah so far so good we're going to drive back home and then hopefully wrap up this video for this issue which at the moment looks like was a really silly thing as, I've, as I have already showed you okay and i just drove back home no problems at all has been driving fine light never came on uh, the maxi is unfortunately is pretty much <clears throat> running out of battery so i'm not going to be able to show you uh, what i might try to before he actually goes off uh, already came out it's pretty much running out of battery uh, uh. I don't know if it's still coming out out of range, but guys, it's driving fine. I, and I did some tight corners, even full lock uh, as I was coming at the end of this road because the road is closed. I went at the bottom and then I turned around full lock a couple times and it's been fine. I've been here now a couple times, left and right, it's been perfect. Uh, so I would say this is a fix now. It looks like, guys, the only issue was that. Plus, was the plug that was not connected plus obviously the the calibration uh, combination of both but uh, it's just quick before he dies before the maxi sees dies come on quickly 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 I'm not sure why that's like that and uh, main brake and brake wire pressure, main brake pressure is showing you already. Well, it's showing you minus, it should show zero. As I press the pedal, it's fine. So I don't think this will be a problem at all. Uh, where is my so 0.4? Let's gonna go left all the way. Five nine six eight. Right all the way. Five nine nine four. Oh, 991 okay so I'm happy with these guys uh, I think this is okay the next problem I don't know if he's gonna make it into a video I don't think he will because uh, the complaint is that when you put the switch onto zero uh, the lights come on like that then when you put into zero only the side lights comes on which it does and everything comes on inside uh, and then when you go back to zero the interior lights goes off as you can see everything goes off But those lights comes on. I think this is driving lights. I don't think there is anything wrong with this uh, This was the second problem with the car. So that's what it is um, For this car. So I'm gonna wrap up this video guys. So we know further ado before you go off We know further ado guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video something really silly in the end Obviously, I didn't knew that before I started. Um, but still, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope there's some information here you guys can find useful. Uh, if you do have any questions, any comments, you know, it works. Put them below and like always. Thank you so much for watching.